hello friends welcome back to my channel i hope that this video finds you all doing amazing and i hope each and every one of you are doing very well today i am super excited because i'm going to be sharing with you four very beautiful rustic christmas diys and let's just jump right into the video nice and easy for the first diy here we are going to start off with this wood sign that i got from dollar tree it is this oval nice piece here and what i want to do is i want to kind of create a design border around this whole entire frame so to do that i'm just going to take my hot glue gun and i am going to just draw out the um design that i like first i'm going to use my pencil just so i can kind of sketch and see what i really want on there and then just take your hot glue gun and go right over those lines and then you would want to let that dry really well. Once that is dry, I'm going to give this a coat of black spray paint. I was going to paint it and I started painting it in some black paint. But I thought that the spray paint would be much easier to get in the little nooks and cracks of the hot glue. So I just used my black spray paint and then I let that dry really well. Once that is done, this is what that should look like. And you can see the little border around it. I really like how it came out. And so now I'm going to take this pack of stickers, Christmas stickers. I got this from Target Dollar Spot a while back, probably about two Christmases ago. So I'm pretty sure they have different ones now. But I'm just going to take one of these and I'm going to stick it to the center of the sign. And then I'm going to put Mod Podge over it so that it doesn't come out. And I'm just going to put Mod Podge over the whole sign so that way it can kind of be cohesive and you won't see just in the middle of the Mod Podge on top of there. So I'm just going to put my sticker down and then place Mod Podge and let that dry as well. Now that that's dry, I am going to take my sanding paper and I am going to sand down all of the edges of this sticker just so it can make it look like it was originally on there and you can't really tell that it's a sticker it, it it kind of just breaks apart the edges a little bit and makes it more into the frame if that makes sense and more uh flush together so i'm just gonna scrape down all of the edges of the sticker and then i am going to take the mod podge again and i'm gonna go over a little bit around the sticker where i sanded because i did scratch some of the paint and you could tell so i'm just gonna go over it with mod podge so it can seal it back up and now i'm gonna go in with some thumbtacks i'm gonna take four and i'm just gonna push them into all four corners of the sticker just so you know it gives it more of a higher end look and like it's it is a handmade sign which it is but it makes it look a little bit more rustic and i really love how that looks and then i'm gonna go in and i'm gonna add this black and white bow and i got this from walmart a while back as well i'm gonna place this to the top of the sign and then i'm gonna take my little chippy brush and i am going to distress all around where the border is for this frame i'm gonna try to make it look like snow has fallen onto it so i'm gonna take white paint and i'm just gonna distress all around the frame and i really love that i did that because it does give it the pop that it needs and it looks 10 times better and i absolutely love how it looks so i just go ahead and just keep adding white paint until i like it visually and it looks really cute and i absolutely love it
and here is how that turned out you guys how cute is this sign i absolutely love how it turned out it is so cute and rustic looking and i just love the simplicity of it all i did extra was i did add a little hanger to the back just hot gluing some jute strings to the back and then i did clip off the ends of the bow so they could be a little bit shorter and that is it it is so cute you guys and i absolutely love it i'm gonna be putting this in my kitchen maybe around my tear tray or something like that and i hope that you guys like this diy let me know what you guys think next up i'm going to be taking these two galvanized frames i got these from dollar tree and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the hanger off of one of them and then i'm going to glue the two pieces together i'm going to use a mixture of um hot glue and e6000 i'm going to put e6000 in the middle and then the hot glue off to the sides that way i can get the nice fast hold but then i will get that strong hold as well so once you glue your pieces down i am going to take this nautical rope that you can get at dollar tree and i am going to spell out the word joy using this rope and it is super easy i'm just going to cut down the sizes and then i am going to just make the shape of the letters going down onto the sign and i love that i decided to do the wording with the nautical rope because it just makes it look even more rustic and i really love how it looks with the nautical rope you can definitely use a ton of stuff to write the letters if you didn't want to use nautical rope you can just use your cricket you can honestly use ribbon you can use pretty much anything you just have to really use your imagination and be creative and just create and whatever you like you can put on there and so once that is on there i am going to try I'm not going to put too much to decorate it because I want to keep it simple, but I am going to make a little bow using this ribbon and I am going to place that to the top of my sign. And then I'm just going to take a little pine cone and some red berries and place that to the center of the bow. And that is it for my decorations, you guys. So simple and so cute. And I really love how this turned out and it already has a hanger, so you are good to go. I absolutely love how this one turned out, you guys. and here is the final look at that you guys so cute and i really love this piece i hope that you do too let me know what you guys think i really love everything about it and i love the pop of color with the little berries at the top i really love it it's so cute let me know what you guys think all right friends moving right along and here for this diy i have this welcome sign i got this from dollar tree and then i also have these very adorable little elf feet that they have out right now for christmas what i want to do is i want to remove the sticks that are in them and they just pull out really easily you see as you see there and then once those are out i am going to hot glue them on to the bottom of my sign like there is little elf feet dangling at the bottom there and once you have both of them on your sign what i'm gonna do is i have some flower arrangements i have some eucalyptus and then i also have some poinsettias and i am just going to arrange them 
on i'm gonna put the eucalyptus on either sides of the wreath because i am turning in this into a wreath and then i'm going to place the poinsettias on top of the eucalyptus and the poinsettias i am going to take them and i am going to cut them off well take them out individually so that way i don't have the stem and we can hot glue them really nice and easier so just place them however you like visually and then i'm also going to take some of the leaves that are on the poinsettias and i am going to place that in there as well so it can give it a bit of a contrast between the eucalyptus and the poinsettias And you guys, you can just see how beautiful this wreath is turning out to be. This is my favorite one from today. It is just so stunning and cute. And I really love how this one turned out. And that is all I am going to do for this wreath. And I absolutely love it. It is super gorgeous. And I hope that you like it. What I'm doing here is I am just taking the leaves, the eucalyptus, and some of the poinsettia leaves. And I am just hot gluing it flat down to the wreath. So that way it is not sticking out and it's not, you know, looking weird or anything. I want the poinsettia leaves to be open and look really nice. So I am just hot gluing it flat down as you see me do here. And that is it. Here is the final look at it. So cute. I absolutely love it. It is so nice, you guys. Let me know what you guys think of this DIY. It looks really high end and just using Dollar Tree items. So that is a steal. Moving on to the last DIY for today, I have here another one of those wood oval signs and then I also have one of these cute little Santa ornaments and I got that from Target Dollar Spot. What I'm going to do to start off is I'm going to take some white paint and I'm going to paint the entire sign and all it took was one coat because I am going to distress it afterwards so I don't really care if it's not full coverage. So I'm just going to paint it, let it dry, and then I'm going to take my sanding paper and I am going to sand down all of the edges really good and on top of the sign so it can look worn and distressed. Next up, I'm going to take the little Santa ornament and I am going to remove the little hanger that it has. And what I'm going to do is I am going to hot glue this onto my sign. And you can play, you have the choice of whether you want to place it on the top, on the side, or on the bottom. For mine specifically, I am just going to place it on the top. And then I am going to take some of this wood letters that I got from Michaels. 
and I am gonna spell out Santa Co for Santa Company and I don't have I didn't have a C so I just took a O and I cut it in half and there you go you have a C so I am just going to take those letters and I am going to place them down at the bottom of the sign but I am going to go with the curve of the sign so that it's almost curved as well and not putting them straight but you can put them straight if you want I just decided to go like this and you can also paint these wood letters if you want I just like the natural wood on it I think it goes really good with the overall sign and the color palette that I chose so I just left it as it is and I just simply hot glue them on there and you only need just the slightest amount of hot glue and place them down one by one and so that is what I do and then after that I was going to make a little bowl to put at the top of his hat where that hole is where the string was for it to hang I wanted to cover that up but I thought I didn't want my Santa to have a bow on him I wanted it to look you know a little bit more masculine I don't think he'll have a bow on I mean he can if you wanted to but I don't want to put a bow on it I want to put um well sort of what he has on his hat already if you can see there the little berries and little greenery um leaves so I have those and I am going to just put those on to his hat, gluing them right on top of his hat, just placing one greenery and one little berry pick. And that finishes off this adorable, cute little sign. And I absolutely love it, you guys. This is just so cute. And this has to be my second favorite one from today. I just love everything about it, the color palette, the rustic look and the 3d look of his, of the santa i really love how this one turned out let me know what you guys think and that wraps up today's video you guys i hope that you liked today's diys if you did don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up because that does help out my channel and allow others to view this video so please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below i love to hear your feedback which one was your favorite from today and also do consider hitting that subscribe button. I would love to have you. And I would love to have you be part of my family here on YouTube. So do hit that subscribe button. And I will see you all on the next one. Bye guys.